No. This is a persisting type 1 reaction. We see in certain patients, especially in areas like the face and then the hands. So it is a facial lesion and lesions over the palm. When I say hand, it is a palm, palm are lesions. They go for a severe type 1 lepra reaction and they have a, uh, an affinity to persist for a longer duration for some reasons unknown. Now, the case that I have been showing here was the one who was getting severe type 1 lepra reaction, mainly in the skin lesions and persisting. So, as you bring down the prednisolone, it, the reaction reappears. So, this is a patient which is not, the handling of such patients have to be done in a proper manner. So, what is the alternative for steroid? People can, people have used azathioprine and even aprimilas has been mentioned in these cases. But then that it comes down slowly over a period of time. One has to be patient as well as the patient has to be educated regarding, regarding the nature of the problem that the, that the he or she is facing. One more thing here is that I would just like to say, show this. Now, this a lesion is there. I use, it is in the vision theory. I, when these lesions heal, when they get slowly healed, it heals by fibrosis, which can lead on to ectropion, okay, ectropion, because of the scarring process. And one more thing is that it is lying over the zygomatic branch of the facial nerve here, zygomatic branch of the facial nerve. So, it is a potential case to undergo lag of thalamus. So one has to be careful about this. Music